vehicle that we got today is a 2007 Dodge Ram. I want to show you step by step how to remove the steering wheel and that includes taking the airbag assembly off. So with that we'll go ahead and move inside and I'll show you a few steps and a few precautions. And we're going to move inside, go ahead and get started on removing the airbag assembly. This one's held in place with two 10 millimeter bolts. These go directly through the back of the steering wheel. And in order to get to the area where you can access the bolts, you kind of need to turn the steering wheel either at a 9 o'clock position or 3 o'clock so that you can get to both ends. Now, I'm not unhooking the airbag, I'm just taking the bolts loose at this point. So that's why I'm going to leave the battery still hooked up. That way I can crank the vehicle, easily turn, get to my access plug in the back, the hole. Turn it off now. Get up in here with my tin. Break it loose. And work on getting the bolt out. As soon as I get dumped that, crank it up, spin it again in the opposite direction. That way I can get to that other last bolt. There we go. That one's there. We'll crank it up. Now I want to work on getting that last bolt off, and at that point I want to crank it up one more time and get the steering wheel straight. Then we'll proceed to disconnect the battery, because at that point we need to allow the capacitor side of the airbag control module to lose the voltage, so that way we don't have, cause any problems, uh, either hurting ourselves with an airbag accidental deployment, or damage anything on the vehicle when it deploys as well. So with that we'll go ahead and move on to uh, getting that last bolt. Got the bolts out, we got the steering wheel straight again, and we've waited our 5 to 15 minutes to go ahead and let the capacitor discharge. Now it's just a matter of pulling the airbag off. Now we got to get access to the connectors on the back side. We've got two of them that are for the uh, uh, first squid and second squid, which means first and second inflators of the airbag, because it is a dual stage. Depending on what's needed, it can partially uh, it can it fire off one igniter or it can fire off both to give it even fuller charge. And we also got the warm pad we've got to disconnect. Now on the airbag connectors, what you need to do, you need to squeeze in on the ends of the connector on the side. There's two sides you need to squeeze, and then start working it up. There you go. As well as the other one. We've got a black one and a brown one. They're not interchangeable. Each one of the connectors is keyed differently, so you cannot put them in the wrong place or upside down. And then all we got to do is disconnect the horn pad. Now we've got our airbag off. With our airbag removed, now we can gain access to what's holding the cruise control switches on. You may be replacing the left side switch, which is the on-off set, or you may be doing the right side, which is the assume, cell, cancel, decel. They're held in at this point with just some Phillips screws. It takes one on each side, depending on which switch you're taking loose. Once you get it loose, you'll pull out to get it off of its mount. And then the switch will actually pull sideways out of the steering wheel because it's got two fingers, as you can see here, that actually go into the steering wheel pocket. Just like to reinstall, you'd slide it in, snap it down in place, and there you go. Now to uh, take it off, you've got to release one connector. You've got to get to the lock. Once you get the lock off, now you can slide it off. Now the installation is going to be just the opposite of removal. Just reinstall the switch. Once you put the connector on, snap it down, Phillips screw, then your airbag assembly. Once you got the airbag assembly in, plugged in, everything, you can go ahead and turn the key, uh, hook the battery back up and do that little procedure where I showed you where you can crank it up, get the steering wheel, where you can get the bolt on the back. Now you can do that procedure without uh, cranking the vehicle if you want. Uh, it's just you're going to be turning the steering wheel by hand. I'd like it to be as easy as it is possible for me. I like to work smarter, not harder. Now we've got the airbag assembly out of the way. 
Now we have one connector we need to be concerned with that we're going to disconnect, and that connector supplies the power and the signals and everything going to the cruise control switches. The two airbag wires we will not worry about because they actually go through the steering wheel and they're part of what they call the clock spring assembly on the back side. That clock spring assembly has actually got um, some circuits going through it and it's designed to rotate and still have the circuit complete. We're going to leave that in place. And that's also one reason why you want the steering wheel to be straight. That way the orientation of the clock spring on the back is correct. You don't need it to be coming unsprung or be put in the wrong position because if it is, you could make a hard right turn or for example hard left turn and if it's far enough out it actually break the uh, ribbon inside the clock spring. So we've gone ahead and we're going to connect this now unplugged for the cruise control switches. We've got a 13 millimeter bolt in the center that we need to take off. At this point, what you need to get is a basic steering wheel puller kit. Uh, it's going to come with some fittings like this with a center piece that you're going to thread down that's actually going to cause it to uh, pull on the assembly to pull it off. It'll probably come with an assortment of bolts because it's going to apply to more than one vehicle. Uh, what you need to do is find something that'll thread up in these two holes right here. One here and one here. Uh, they're designed so that they can, you can actually pull the steering wheel off. So what you do is you go ahead and get your tool set up. Get the threaded bolts in place. Now we're going to get ready to tighten down and pull it off. At this point, everything's bolted down as far as the pull is concerned. Now what we're going to do is we're going to snug down and start tightening on the center bolt. I usually say don't use impacts on pullers. I've done this long enough. I've had this tool for almost 20 years now, and I personally haven't had any problems. Steering wheel is now off. Now it's just a matter of getting to taking your puller bolts off, getting that out of the way. Now you can replace your steering wheel, or if you need to, go ahead and access your clock spring. Installation is just the opposite of removal. One thing you need to keep in mind is this is a keyed steering wheel. It can only go on one way without using excessive force. Excessive force, you can get anything to work any way you want. Anything you want to keep in mind is keep these orange slash yellowish wires up at the top like 12 12 o'clock position just route them through line up the keyway on the steering column and the steering wheel slide it down get your 13 millimeter bolt and then tighten it down by hand just hold on to it with a firm grasp and use your ratchet till you get it nice and tight then just reinstall your airbag assembly reconnect the battery and you're good to go so as you saw taking the steering wheel off wasn't too bad you did need a puller set, which you can pick up at any local parts store. You can buy you a cheaper set, or you can probably use their loaner tool program. Just make sure that you disconnect the battery for the airbag. Make sure you line the steering wheel back up, as well as that clock spring, to make sure everything went the way it goes back on the way it went off. That way you don't do any damage to either one. With that, I always appreciate you watching my videos. Always stay tuned for more, and the best way to do that is to subscribe. You subscribe. Anytime I make new videos, you're going to be notified of that. That way, if anything comes up that may pertain to something you own, something that you're going to be working on, or just for basic knowledge, it'll show up, and you can go ahead and click on it and watch it. With that, thank you very much. 